got this 4L60E valve body. This is out of a vehicle here. And it had a code of a P0741 uh, torque converter clutch problem. Okay, so I'm going to do this wrong. I am going to show you what I found in this valve body. Okay, here is the EPC. What I'm looking at is this TCC. TCC valve, which is right here. And one thing I see. stuck okay right here that's stuck if you look I don't know if you can see down in there right here let's see where it's scored right there you can see the scrape on on that valve be able to see that there it is see it's scraped and that's why it's getting stuck and doesn't want to come out so I have a problem there. If I can get it out, then maybe I can show you it better. All right, you see that valve? See, it's been scraping. So I had to move this back and forth a lot in order to get this off. But that's chewed up. Because metal, this transmission was bad, but it was throwing this cold also. So you get a chance to see. Was it a solenoid? I don't think the solenoid was the problem. This valve wasn't stroking. But there's another valve you want to check. And there's metal. And that's one that's inside of a sleeve which is it's right over here mm, right there now, this valve has a spring that's right here If I take this valve here, push it this way, you can probably see it went that way, but if I pushed it back, see that? It didn't spring back. It didn't spring back. Now watch when I try to push it back. See, now it's staying there. Should bring back. I ain't doing it. This valve is in, this valve is inside of a sleeve. So you have to pull this whole sleeve and out with the valve. But when I run into problems with valve body sticking like this, and this sleeve sticking, and when there's valves that look like what I just showed you. Where that valve go? What do I do with it? Just had. Here it is. What it look like what I just showed you here. I get rid of the valve body. I had a valve where a valve body where it took me three hours to take every single valve out. 
to clean the bores and when I put it back it still wasn't right. Took that valve body off and put a valve body on that was good and that was the end of it. But you had to take it back off with all the fluid and stuff. This was in a 4T65 so you had to drop the frame and everything so as a rule for me if I see sticky valves I'm changing the valve body. I'm not going through I'm going to get a good used one that is uh, that works and the way you check them you go to the valves that have the least amount of resistance so if you got a big spring you push it against that spring it may snap it back you go to the ones that have a little small spring push it against that see if that little small spring push it back or some that have no spring at all see if they move back and forth if they move back and forth freely you pretty much good if they don't get rid of that so that was that P0741 code because of this um, TCC valve wasn't stroking applying the torque converter. So that's why it had a slip code. You got a chance to see it on the scanner and you get a chance to see what is actually causing it which is that valve. But if the valve is sticking like this was something in that transmission is bad.